Hello everybody, this is Ducey and we are taking a look at Encounter Plus. Over the summer, they've had some really great updates and the first topic we're gonna hit in this video are updates to walls and line of sight. They've added some pretty cool new options for walls that I am really looking forward to getting into. So here we've got one of the sample maps that comes with Encounter Plus and normally to start adding walls, there's a lot of ways to do it, and you can go check out my previous videos on line of sight, but the most direct way is to go to the wall layer under layers over here. So now we're on the wall layer, and I can click on this to choose which uh, like color walls we're gonna drop in. And again, the point of these walls is to prevent line of sight. So I'm just going to follow along these walls while I draw see those orange lines there getting made cool now if I go to the gear over here for all the map settings and I turn on line of sight you can see that we now have line of sight ready to roll switch over to moving and you'll see if I move this token around that it will show me the uh, correct line of sight there in the room that I did I'm just gonna zoom in here a little bit now the first difference You'll see, I kind of messed up. I, I let go. I should have just held down as I was drawing, but I let go and I left this little tiny crack in this wall. Well, now we can grab the corners or the edges of any of these wall segments and move them to wherever we wish. So it's super easy to fix mistakes now. Now it's snapping to the grid, which is why it's popping around where it was. Now that's perfectly right where it should go on the grid, but I can also unclick the magnet icon and now I can get very precise control if I didn't want it to snap to a grid. Now let's say our PCs decided to cast some sort of spell that like burrowed through this wall. And I go, oh man, it'd be great to be able to show that, but I didn't build my wall that way. Well now I can double click on a wall. I can edit this wall. I can delete this wall. Or I can hit the plus button and add a new point. So I can start to edit this wall by adding points and changing the shape of it. So I could make it extend out into that area. Or any other fixes that I might need to do. I can also click on one of these points and just delete one of these, or I can click on one of these points and choose to split. So now I have split this into separate walls and you'll see that the line of sight is working there. Cool. Now, you'll see in this room, there are some pillars, and the map has some great shadows cast there already, but let's say I wanted line of sight to actually work on these pillars. Well, the way I used to do this is on the wall layer, I would put an X over one of these pillars, and that's okay. Let's see what that would look like on the second screen. I'm just gonna open the window here. I've got this background that I previously was using. I'm gonna right click or hold and tap and hold on iOS and choose present. Now you can see what this external screen would be seeing. And that works okay, but it kind of leaves a little bit of a janky shadow. I'm gonna go back to my move tool. Now let's say I did a circle around it. That seems like another logical option here is to do a circle. Well, if I do a circle around it, oops, let me just undo that then my players can't actually see what is causing that obstruction in the line of sight. It's just a black circle to them. Let's take a look. Yeah, just a black circle. They're not sure what it is. So I'm gonna delete this wall. And now when I go to make walls across the top here, we've got all these new options. And the one that I'm on right now is standard walls, just like we've always done. I'm gonna skip over to this fourth one over here that looks like a little mountain, and that one is called Terrain. So I can make a circle here, and here's the way that works. Line of sight has to pass through that area twice in order for it to obscure my vision. Let's come out of the wall layer so we can see a little better what's happening here. Now it obscures the vision, but I can see exactly what it is. Again, let's look at the player version. There we go. I'm just gonna bring the player screen up over here on the right, so as we're working, you can see what the players would be seeing, and on the left, you can see what the DM is seeing. 
Now as I move my token, you can perfectly see what's going on there without having to partially obscure that column. This is great for trees, columns, boulders, anything that you want the players to be able to see, but you don't want them to be able to see past. And you don't have to do that in a circle either. You could do that in any of the shapes that you can draw. And I'm sure there's a lot more creative uses for that. Let's go back to the wall layer. And look at some other ways that we can use some of these new wall features. Okay, let's go to this section down here. Let me draw on some normal walls first so we can start to see our line of sight the way it would really be working. Let's fix that one there. Perfect. Oh, so much easier when I make a mistake now. Awesome. Now let's say whoever was in this cave before us, they hung up a curtain between this section right here. Well, there's a new wall type that we can use to simulate what would happen there. So now I get this dotted line. I can't see past it, but because it's a curtain, my players and I can just move right through it, but it obscures vision. So that is a wall that obscures vision, but does not prevent movement. Now, right now, because I'm the uh, DM and I have it set this way, I can go right through these walls as well. But if I click this little movement button and set it to this movement with a little minus in it, now it will prevent me and my players from going through walls they shouldn't, but this curtain kind of wall, I can move right through. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this wall for a moment and hit edit, and you'll see that there's a ton of options in here that we're gonna go over. But I want you to see that this is called an ethereal wall. This is a wall that blocks vision but not movement. And we've got normal walls. We did terrain walls already. Now let's look at invisible walls that block movement, but they don't block vision. So I'm just gonna click on invisible and hit save and change this one to an invisible wall. Though I could have drawn a new wall and gone to this invisible wall type like a window here. And I would get that pink color that it defaults to. Let's erase this wall. Now I have a wall that will stop movement, but won't stop vision. So a window, it's perfect. Now, let's see if we've got any doors on this map. This map actually doesn't seem to have any doors. Oh, there's a door, let's head back up here. Okay. So we've got a door right here and I'm just gonna click on this and choose the door style. And let's just put a wall right there, perfect. And now it has a door icon. If I get off of the wall layer and back to the token layer, switch over to move just like I would be when I'm playing instead of when I'm prepping the map, I can now just click on this door and it cracks it open, click on it again and it puts it closed. So that is a super easy way to set up doors and when they're open, it lets me pass through. When they're closed, it doesn't let me pass through. If I click on this door while in the wall layer, I can edit it. And here's this type of wall. It's a door type. And the door state is closed. I can set it to be open. This would be kind of the long way to set something open or closed. But now I also have the option to set it as locked. And now there is a lock on that door, letting me know that that door is locked should players try to go to it. And when I click on it, it unlocks it and then opens it and then back to open and close. Now, right now it's only showing up in my view, not over in the player view, but there are plans to add the option in the web view to show those doors so players can go up to them and it'll show if they're locked or not when they try to open it. And while we're talking about features that aren't quite here but are in the works, if we go to the wall layer and we select this again and we hit edit, then we will be able to set doors as secret doors. Right now, the secret doors work just like normal doors, but these ones would not be visible to players.
So if you're prepping maps, you can start to do that now and know that in the future that will start to work correctly if you've set certain doors to be secret doors so they don't get that icon showing up for the players. Now there is one last thing about all of these new wall features that I want to show you. Okay, here we have a section where there's some stairs and then there's this kind of terrace section up here above everything else. Let's pretend that this terrace section was like 20 feet high. So from the bottom, you couldn't actually see what was up there. But from the top, you could see what was down. Well, first let me add in my normal walls. And now I'm going to add a wall following this edge. Like that. So the problem here is if I go up the stairs, I now should be able to see the rest of the room, but I can't. If I double click on this wall and hit edit, here it says side both. Well, I'm going to pick a side and now it will let me look down onto the other room. But if I'm on the bottom, I cannot see what is up there. So this is great for high city walls, cliff edges, Anytime you want someone to be able to see one direction, but not the other direction. And if you look real closely there, you can see, let's see if I can zoom in here. You can see these little indicators showing which direction you can see through. On this side, where the indicators are, if I'm on that side, I can see right through. And of course, I can click on this wall again that I have selected, edit it, and I could switch it to go the other direction. There you go. We can also mix and match some of these settings here. So I can have this wall that only lets me view through one direction, like I'm looking off the edge of a cliff. And I could make it ethereal, so it blocks vision but not movement. So this would make it so that my players could say, hey, I want to go climb up this, and they'll be able to just kind of move right through that section if they wanted to. You can mix and match to your heart's content, whatever makes the most sense for you. So that is all of the new cool options for walls and line of sight. If you have any questions, please make sure to go head over to the Discord, to the Facebook group, to the subreddit. And there's lots of folks there like me that'll be able to help answer your questions.